Have you ever wondered why moving in CS2 just doesn't feel right? There were many speculations out there. For example, we had Alexi B telling us to go back into CSGO and just experience the old game and see how everything just felt smooth. And well, until last week, we only had rumors and couldn't really get some hard data to back up the fact that the game just feels wrong. However, thanks to this guy, we are finally able to understand why the game feels so off. So, so I hope I'm gonna pronounce this correct, but you. Genio808, he wrote a 36 page document explaining everything, why the movement felt off compared to CSGO. And to understand why this is, it all comes down to the subtick system. In CSGO, inputs are processed at fixed intervals called ticks. Every 15.6 milliseconds on a 64 tick server, the game processes your movement, shooting and view changes. It's predictable, consistent, and that is why CSGO movement felt so tight. And this was even better on face it servers that ran on 128 tick. Then CS2 introduced the sub tick system. Now when you press a key, it timestamps it when you pressed it within the tick and in theory this should make movement feel even more responsive. But here's the problem. CS2 doesn't use this timestamp consistently. In fact, the moment you press your movement key within a tick can drastically change your acceleration. And now let's look at some graphs. Each of these graphs represents pressing the same movement key at a different sub tick time. Notice how the first acceleration frame changes widely. Sometimes it's too strong, sometimes it's too weak, and sometimes it's completely absent. And this doesn't happen in Go. In CSGO, the input is delayed until the next tick, but the behavior is predictable. In CS2, the subtick system means your input is acknowledged instantly, but the physics behave inconsistently. But here's the interesting part. When the input happens exactly at the start of the tick, the acceleration curve